Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it has been a minute and I do apologize for that. I am very fortunate to have a full-time job, one, and I'm also fortunate that my job gives me my schedule a month in advance. So from here on to the future, I'm going to be planning out my videos. I'm just going to be a little bit more organized. I am bad with that. Not an organized person at all, but I'm working on it. I know I look a hot ass mess right now, but it's for a good reason. I'm going to be doing my first get ready with me video. I'm not really going anywhere, but I've been wanting to do this video so bad. So we're going to get started. I don't want to ramble too much. Since my brows is already done, I put my hair back. Now moving along. Um, I've been using this primer for quite some time now, and it really does control my oil. It is the NYX Shine Killer. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on because you know your girl is oily, especially around my T-zone. I really wish I could play some music. How them copyright laws are set up, I am not trying to mess with it, seriously. Now that I'm all primed. For concealer, it has not changed. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Dark Cocoa to conceal under my eyes my hyperpigmentation and around my mouth. And if you guys find me squinting, it's because I do not have contacts in and I am blind as hell. Just to let y'all know. Mm, mine's well, mine's well, right? Okay, here we go. And then I'm gonna blend this out with a beauty blender. Just gonna blend all that out. The work of concealer, Lord. If my skin was just like this, life would be like amazing. Something new that I have been doing, I've been using, um. Max Mineralized Skin Finish to actually set this concealer and the shade that I use is Dark Deepest. So I'm just going to set that. Just a little bit, don't need a lot. And now I like to spray Max Fix Plus. The foundation I use is the Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. This is like the best foundation for me because I am extremely oily and I sweat on my nose like crazy and this really helps out like so much. I have not found any foundation to compare to this. So really, really do love this stuff. And the tube. I'm not gonna lie, the tube is really small, but you really don't need that much. But about that much on. So one thing about this foundation, as you see, it's going on very light, but it oxidizes darker. It's, it's kind of crazy how dark it gets. Oh, and this foundation definitely is um, full coverage. I don't think I use medium coverage foundation, seriously. I don't see the point. Just cover everything. Less work I have to do. I'm just going to take a little bit of this foundation just like that and Halo be gone. I hate that halo. Very important thing when it comes to putting on this waterproof foundation do not do not use a damp beauty blender like to actually apply it. You can do it like afterwards like this tiny bit like just to take away excess oil and everything but it will apply patchy because it's a waterproof foundation so water is not going to actually mix with this foundation okay moving right along i still use the same this is like a holy grail probably won't get rid of it probably because of the price point it's only like two three dollars but um la girl pro concealer in the shade toffee i used to use fawn but i noticed like i don't like the undertone to fawn so that's why i switched to toffee so I'm going to apply that. So I'm spraying my beauty blender with the Fix Plus. Why did I not spread that out? That's better. I like to use like a really, really light pressure to blend this out. The lighter, the better. I know it's appearing really, really light, but don't worry. Make sure you get the side of your nose if you want a really good contour nose. All right, all right. So I go back over under my eye just to make sure it doesn't like crease up, have any buildup underneath there. And the powder that I use, I use a mixture of two powders, Sasha Buttercup. At first I did not like this. I felt like it was hyped and it wasn't that brown girl friendly. So 
I bought it and I didn't like it set it aside for a little while but then I realized shit I'm not wasting I'm not wasting any money so I mixed it with my midnight topaz and it just it looks so much better because the topaz give it a little warmness to it so it's not that ashy look I am a deep shade um, brown girl so I didn't think that this worked too well alone and surprisingly I don't really necessarily bake anymore baking to me was just like a waste of powder like seriously you get the same results use less product follow head and right there there we go so I'm going to be using this the deeper shade so this is not Karab it's the one deeper than Karab so before I, I use it I always use this RCMA thinner and this thinner just helps it apply better so I'm only going to use like a little dot boop okay using BH Cosmetics 127 brush my and my nose I'm so crazy I didn't even explain that um yeah so when you contour you cup under your cheekbone and then you blend upwards so it's not just a line sitting there you can blend back and forth but just remember to blend upwards so now I'm just going to blend out what I have done for my nose So I have found like a new product, it's not a new product, people probably have been doing it, but me myself, I found a new product. It's actually uh, a MAC blush, we're going to be setting the contour. One of the MAC girls where I work, she, well I don't work in MAC, I work for Dillard's, but MAC is inside of Dillard's. Yeah. She introduced to me, I was telling her that I really want like a deep con, like you know like a contour shade and you know it's a struggle to find a contour shade deep enough for our complexion um she showed me this i was a little skeptical at first because i'm like it's purple like i'm not trying to run around with purple contour on my cheek but she put it on on me and it was like it worked so i was like all right i'm gonna give this a try it definitely does work but a little goes a long way don't use too much lord don't Okay, so that's it. Just it's like perfect. Doesn't show up purple whatsoever. Thank you, Jesus. Because I was I was gonna have a fit if it came up purple. So for my nose, I do use this black radiance. It's in the color mahogany, rich mahogany. So this is what I use on my nose. I really slimmed the hell out of my nose. Like so I'm gonna use bronzer. The bronzer I use, I've been using this for a while. It is this Ebony Bronze CoverGirl Queen Collection. Baby. So it's kind of like me blending both the contour and the bronzer together. Hell, I lost my train of thought that quick. All right, guys, I am back. I finished one eye, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. So I'm not really sure if this is a get ready with me video. It's more of a talk through. I'm not really sure. I don't know the rules, but let's go ahead and get finished. Palette I am going to be using is no other than the Juvia's Place Nubian Two Palette. This palette is. So amazing, so creamy, so pigmented, no fallout. Like it's amazing. I'm gonna be using this and a little bit of the 35 Old palette, two shades. So the first thing I do is I prime my eye and I use the Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC45. You gotta be careful not to put a lot out. So I, shit, see, see, that's too much. <laughs> 
So I'm just gonna place it there and then I go ahead and use one of Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes that she always gives in her palettes. I'm gonna use that to then fluff it out, the harsh edges. I really like how this concealer like really covers up my um my hyperpigmentation on my eyes and not only that you can just use it as a primer and then I just like to set it with the same setting powder I use underneath my eyes so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a fluffy brush this brush I had it for a while it's from Jessup brushes and I'm going to be going inside of the Morphe 35O palette in the two shades that I'm going to be using it's right here first one is here to be using this shade as to set like my highlight brow bone area then I'm gonna be using this shade as like an upper transition shade okay so this one is gonna be first okay so when I'm applying this my brow bone shade I like to pat it rather than sweep it because I'm not trying to get too much powder on my eyebrows so using like a patting motion right here it really helps with that and as you can see it makes your brows look more crisp like more clean and then after that I'm going into that second shade and I'm gonna go right underneath the color I just applied it's like kind of like a transition shade for the shade I'm gonna be using next inside of the Nubian 2 palette going into the Nubian 2 palette first shade I'm going to be using is the orange shade right on the top left corner it is called Morocco so Right on top of the color we used from the 35O color, I'm going to be applying this Morocco. Using light strokes, circle strokes, in the windshield wiping method. See, it forms this pretty shade. I love this color. Orange is so in. Okay, so now to blend that color kind of together to make it flow, because as you see, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's not flowing together. So I'm gonna go back into the 35O palette, mix the two colors that I use first together, and then blend them together. Right on top, real lightly. Blend those colors together. Okay, so the next color I'm gonna be using is Jezebel. It's that pretty deep purple shade right here. I'm gonna be using that inside of my crease. Now I'm going to go back into the orange shade to kind of blend it together again. Okay, so what I love to use is a paint pot and it's in the shade Soft Ochre. It's really good for another, like priming your eyelids. It makes the colors that you use pop even more. So I am going to be placing this all over my lid. Now I'm gonna switch the brush up a little bit. I'm gonna use Denser Brush. This brush is from BH Cosmetics as well. I forgot what line this was, but it, it came with a set of brushes. I love these brushes, but you see this brush is a little bit more dense. So it's gonna pick up more eyeshadow to give it more like of a full of coverage. Yes, going back into Jezebel. Now you see how intense that was? It's because of the soft ochre paint pot. Now I am gonna push it up a little bit just so the Jezebel is a little bit more intense on my, my um, crease area as well. Okay, going into the Morocco, I want the orange to pop just a little bit more. So I'm going right over here. I absolutely love these colors together. Taking another Jessup brush. The brush with the white hairs is really good for just blending everything out. So just gonna blend everything out with this brush. Has no product on it, but it really gets rid of those like harsh lines. Okay, so I'm going into another shade. It is the shade called Kenya. It's this really deep brown shade right here. Another holy grail of mine is Max Mixing in Medium Liner. Amazing for hooded eyes. It's a holy grail for hooded eyes. Like I can't, I cannot go without this stuff. It keeps um, the shimmery eyeshadow from transferring up onto my little hoodie flappy part right here. So it definitely works. So now I'm going to place that on the middle part.
try to look down otherwise it will transfer up onto your lid so i'm going into the color ya in nefertiti so now i'm just going to take a little bit more of that um mixing medium and i'm going to set that in place Sorry, this really wasn't like a get ready with me video. I was just trying to hurry up before Babe gets home because he is like the biggest distraction there is. So it's, it's like an orange look going on here. I'm gonna be using my Sephora Hot Flush. It's like this bronzy orange shade. Yeah, girl, get it, get it, girl. Mm -mm. It's a gold deposit highlighter and I do like to use it on my brow bone too so I just go into my brow bone a little bit okay so bear with me I'm gonna be using another highlight I just like to be highlight to the boards the glow kit colors I'm gonna be using is sunburst and golden a little bit of sunburst a little more golden bam can never have too much ever so now I'm gonna set the rest of my face the shades I'm gonna be using is Adobe and tantalize tantalize and Adobe I'm gonna be mixing these two colors together so first I kind of like set it in here like just like this I pat it in all over it's not gonna mess up your foundation it's not gonna mess up anything and then I just buff it in everything Moving on to the lips. So I'm going to line my lips using Max Chestnut and with Compress Max. This is by Ruby Kisses. It is a Max lip lacquer in a shade crush. Just going to add this to the middle. Put that stuff on video. I'm not. You're just running the water and I'm trying to finish. Oh, why didn't you tell me? I didn't know you were I didn't know you were doing audio. Alright, hold on. Give me like five minutes. Mm-hmm. trying to finish before he gets home but I guess that was impossible okay I use lax chestnut liner by Mac and I use um, Ruby Kisses matte lip lacquer in the shade crust um, and now I'm going to set my face because we are all done for the so now I'm going to be, I'm going to set my face with Max Fix Plus. It gives me like this nice glowy, dewy look. So I'm going to set my face. Bathe in it. He just going to make all the noise. Slamming toilets. Slamming cabinets and shit. Like. And voila, we are done. Yay. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You guys will be seeing more videos now that I have my I have a schedule like in advance. I can actually sit down and plan when I'm going to make a next video. I've been trying to do that, but it has been a little bit of a struggle, but I'm going to work that out and you guys will be seeing more videos from Heavily Modest. But I do want to thank you guys for always sticking with me. I know I have been gone for a little bit, but you guys have been so loyal and I appreciate it. And new followers, hey guys, thank you for following me and subscribing to my channel. You won't be disappointed. New looks coming soon. And this look was inspired by fall because you know it's fall time now and this burnt orange and burgundy is just screaming fall. So, But thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.